All right, as you can see, I've got a blank here. I actually roughed it up. This is one I already had done. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick little video on showing my sanding process on quote-unquote acrylics, epoxies, any of the ones that we normally turn and we call acrylics here. So I went back through and I kind of scuffed it all back up. You can see the sanding marks in it. So it's like it just got done turning. So what I'm going to do now is reset the camera back up. Excuse the jerkiness here. I'm in a weird area in the shop for this at the moment. There we go. Get this back in and focus there. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to walk through my process. Basically, I'm going to get my water set up here. My process is basically really simple. Once I've got it turned down to about where I like it, I leave it there then. And then I come back through and I use the first micro mesh pad, which is the brown one. Just to kind of knock any of the high spots down on it. And once I do that, then I'll go ahead and I follow that back up with the Zona paper, which I've got already pre-cut, ready to go for this. Once that's done, I come through, I'll hit it with a plastic polish. Then I take it over and I buff it. I'm not going to walk through the buffing process on this one. Simply because I just want to show the sanding because I know a couple members I've seen out there that have had questions on how do I get those lateral marks back out of it. I'm not an expert as you can see from the setup on after about a 10 year break I'm getting back into it but I figured why not I'm going to go through and show how I do it. So let me go ahead and get the lathe turned back down. Speed wise for us here because I always start off fairly low. I do then ramp it up towards the end though just to get that really going. You do this enough times, you kind of get a feel for where you're at on it. There we go. All right. All right, like I said, the first one I'll use just the first brown micro mesh. Of course, get it wet. And I'll just come back through and I can kind of listen to it as well. It's a very light touch. I like to keep it nice and wet, keep that blank cool. And you can see at the bottom of the micro mesh. A little bit of that slurry. That's how you know you're actually taking some of it off, and that's a good sign. And then once I do that a couple times, I'll come back, I'll wipe the blank down. I just kind of eyeball it then. And as you see, that looks pretty good. So then what I always do with the, even the micro mesh, I'll come back a second time now, just to make sure... I'll use a little bit more pressure now. Not a lot. I'm not really pulling back. I'm just kind of firmly making sure that that pad is connecting with the blank. You don't want to be putting force on it like that. Because if you run out of liquid while you're doing that, you overheat that blank. You'll know real quick in that spot. And of course, then if you're doing it on a mandrel, not between centers, you'll bend the mandrel. So just a little bit of pressure. I'm pretty sure that's good now, so I'll turn it back off. We'll wipe it down. There's a couple little spots on the end there still. So I'll come back through it. And like with any sanding, even using micro mesh and acrylic, always be moving. Don't stay in one spot. Alright, that looks good. And I'll come back and I will do a lateral 
turn on this. And of course, then I'll wipe it back down and see where we're at. All right, that's looking really good. So we move on to the zone of paper. And this is just, my technique is I'll hold it like this, and I just kind of gently pull it back and forth towards me. Not a lot of pressure on it. As you can see, it's pulling. It's actually coming off. I'll rinse. It's just a little bit of pressure, not a lot at all. Just enough to engage. Feel? And the same thing with that. Now I'll wipe that. These I don't normally go back opposite direction because these are more polishing than they are sanding. And I'll just continue through the grits like that. And if you get it turned really smooth off the lathe, you can really cut down on the amount that you're going to have to on most. Now, after this one, I'll start probably, I'll go one more grit, and then I'll turn the lace speed up a little bit. As you can see, that's starting to really shine a little bit more. I'll go one more here. And I know there's going to be a lot of safety. These guys are going to be saying, oh, you're holding it in both. Well, if you look at this, you can see both of my fingertips. I'm not gripping it. I'm just grabbing onto it, just the tips. And it's sort of like that old card trick. You knock the cards out of somebody's hands. Any type of pressure on this, it's going to pull it right out of my hand. And since I am doing it between centers, I don't have a chuck on here. I'm not worried about anything on the headstock side, grabbing my arm or my wrist. So there and then. Oh yeah. Now I'll turn that speed back up a little bit and get us back just a hair more. Eventually, I will upgrade this lathe, go back to my jet or the right kind of variable speed. But a little Harbor Freight Special here does the job fairly well. And then again, I will note on the higher speeds, I even decrease the amount of pressure that I'm doing with it a lot. I personally just find as going through with the zone of paper, the higher speeds, because they're polishing, it does a little bit better job at it. make it a habit I wipe it off in between each one just to make sure I haven't embedded anything in there dust wise or anything like that and that looks really good so I'll go through these last two and these last two in the zone I found and <clears throat> David he'd probably be able to clarify it even better these are really more polishing than they are anything else Like I said, always keep it wet. All right. Oh, that looks really nice. And the last one.
Alright. Get the water out of the way. One final wipe down here. Alright. Now, this may be overkill, it may not be, I'm not sure. It's just something I've done from day one turning before going to the buffing wheel while I still have it on the lathe. I use, let me make sure this is actually getting in focus here. I'm not even close. I love a little bit of the plastic polish on it. I put a little bit on the paper towel and I will coat the blank completely with it. It's also saturating the paper towel. Then I will turn that back on. And I very gently just let that kind of do its thing on there. And I'm using very little pressure on that. I'm just letting it touch. Slight kiss. Then I'll come back through with a nice clean paper towel. I start in the middle and I come out, rotate come away. That basically just wipes all that excess off the bushings off any of the metal so I don't have any of that other crud back on there. Then I will come back in while it's going and apply pressure to buff. And then from here I would normally put on my buffing wheels and give it a buff right before putting on the pin as a final one. But as you can see on that guys, that's a pretty good finish. Let me go ahead and 